Okay, recording. Hey, uh, crappy video of the guts of a four-wheel drive combat robot. Okay, so we have the receiver right here. The receiver actually winds up powering the um, power LED, which is right here. It's just wired in, and then it has a resistor that you can clearly see. Actually, it's a bunch of resistors that you can clearly see through the um, heat shrink tubing just to keep everything nice and keep it from shorting. And that provides the lighting that's required. It just shines right through the side. The receiver is then hooked up using... So we have a battery eliminator circuit. That is this thing I'm trying to remove right now. That actually converts the 14.8 volts from the battery pack into um, 5 volts for the receiver, which then powers the receiver. Then, it's hooked, then we have the signal wires here and here, which are going to the what used to be the white wire on the VEX trollers. I've replaced them with black wires, but they're just hooked up to normal plugs. Um... <coughs> Sorry, little throat hurts a little bit. Um, and then that's providing the signal for the VEX trollers. The VEX trollers then also have um, power, which is this. So this red wire, which is connecting up to the power switch, and then it runs through here, through here, up to our XT60 connector, which is connecting up to the battery which is lying somewhere else in... Ah, here's one. I was going to say it was lying somewhere else in my apartment. So we can hook up the battery to it. Hook the battery up. Then we grab our handy-dandy hex key. This is really annoying to do one-handed. Especially left-handed. Hmm. Fred, I need the transmitter for this. Let's go for it. Where is it hiding? Wait. Ah, there it is. Anyway. Alright. DX6 is turning on. Bad video. Anyway, so the Vex trollers are powered off of the off of the main battery pack. A uh, positive wire goes from the battery through the FingerTech power switch, and then is split up among the various items, which is the battery limiter circuit, the uh, and then the two Vex trollers. The Vex trollers motor outputs go, which are the red and black wires on the stock system. Um, go to the uh, go to the motors, and then because I've got four wheel um, four wheel drive with four motors, so I then have so they're actually wired in parallel, which means that I run two wires from the controller to here, and then two wires from here over to here, and if they don't run the same direction, you just switch the two wires here until they work in the same direction. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, so let's demonstrate, just drive forward a little bit. Uh, I apparently have mix, I have invert set up right now, just a sec. There we go, forward. So forward, right, left, Reverse. Oh yeah, and then this green stuff is heat shrink, uh, not heat shrink, a uh, heat transfer um, pad that I'm just trying it right now. And then the motors are actually glued into the chassis using Amazing Goop, which... Oh crud, I thought I had a bot, uh, thing right there, but I don't. I was just going to show it to you, but wherever. Anyway, um, 
bad video, but I think it'll help. All right, have a good one. Bye.